Hello, I'm Raghav and today I'm going to talk about photography. While growing up, I remember that my father had a film SLR camera. Now since film rolls were quite expensive, I was not allowed to take any pictures, but instead I just used to look through the viewfinder. When digital cameras became affordable, my father bought me a point and shoot camera. Since then, photography has become the best possible way for me to channelize my excess energy. I used to spend countless number of hours within my hostel premises trying to take photographs of various subjects. I will show you some of the photos I took. I had to wait for 3 hours in order to get that shot of the moon because I did not have a tripod back then. And at such a level of zoom, the slightest of handshake can spoil your photograph. As for the owl, I actually spotted it once on a tree and then visited the same place four days in a row in order to spot it again. When I have a camera in my hand, I do not feel tired or exhausted. In fact, on multiple occasions, I've taken more than 500 shots in a single day. During my brother's wedding, I actually ended up taking more shots as compared to the professional photographer we had hired. Photography has also taught me patience and determination. Last year in Bangalore, I actually stayed up all night in order to be able to photograph early morning birds beside the lake. Here are some pictures I took that morning. At times, I have not been able to achieve desired results. For example, recently, I tried to capture the image of a distant building through a water droplet. Now since I did not have a proper macro lens, even after trying for 4 hours, I did not have a single good picture. But then, these are the kind of incidents that motivate me to do better next time. By now, I have clicked more than 1000 pictures. And I believe each of them has a story to tell. For example, this one. I am very sure that the pictures that I take today will be my prized possessions 20 years hence. Photography has also led to a marked improvement in my observation skills. It has also inspired me to travel and explore more. I currently have around 50 wildlife sanctuaries in my bucket list. But right now, I am trying to save to buy my first full frame SLR camera. Now, as time is against us, I will leave you with certain clicks of mine that are close to my heart. Thank you for listening.